Prusa printers are known for their exceptional print quality while also being straightforward and easy to use. While we have been through the entire Mark IV build in detail, the release of the Mark IV S brings about some additional components, including a high flow nozzle and completely redesigned 360 degree cooling, as well as refined some of the previously 3D printed parts. Although a relatively inexpensive upgrade kit is available for existing Mark IV owners, in this series of videos we'll go through an entire new build of their latest model, the Mark IV S, in some depth, taking a closer look at the upgraded parts along the way while throwing in some tips and tricks making the build not only a straightforward process but a rewarding experience too. Unless you have a print farm and need a quick turnaround, I'd always personally recommend the kit form since the process will help you develop a good working knowledge of how the printer functions and the skills required to disassemble it for upgrades and troubleshooting later. As with the Mark IV build, attention to detail is critical here. Following everything in this video guide to the letter is important, as the slightest variance can cause rather sizable issues later down the road. While you come across various build tips in the process of following this build guide, note that this is a project that requires a lot of patience, double checking that you're using the right parts and in the right place. Some parts are made to tight tolerances while others are 3D printed and may need some cleanup, which we'll cover during the build, but generally they all fit together really well. As always, all parts are bagged and labelled, and this dramatically reduces confusion and makes the assembly process more straightforward. You won't have to hunt around in a bag for loose parts, as everything is already organised for you. Saying that, don't be tempted to open and lay everything out in front of you. Instead, open a bag at a time as and when you come to that particular section of the build. It'll help keep everything organised and reduce the chances of losing any component or having to search around for it. When it comes to tools, these are included too, so you'll find a pair of needle nose pliers along with a standard screwdriver included within the kit, as well as a set of allen keys and specialised wrench. Now these do come in use for some tighter to reach areas, so do keep them handy, but using a separate set of hex drivers will make driving most bolts into place that much more quicker and easier. I also like to use a little thread lock when constructing the frame, although this isn't a strict requirement. A few other items will come in handy, such as a marker as well as a hobby knife for cleaning up some parts of the prints, typical items you'll most likely have laying around anyways. Otherwise, that's all we need. There's no soldering or wire crimping to complete. So with everything we need to get started, along with plenty of spare desk space at the ready, join me in the next video where we'll get started with the main frame and Y-axis assembly. 